Greetings everybody. So in a past video, I show you how you can take your third generation echoes and turn them into home theater speakers. In this video, I'm going to show you some other tricks that you can do with these speakers that you're probably not taking advantage of. So if you don't already know, these third generation echo speakers have a jack on the back that does take input and output. So you have the option to connect them to other speakers, maybe bigger speakers that has more sound output by just using, you know, a regular cable. Now that same port has the option to take in sound from other devices also. Now there's no switches on the device itself to make it an input or an output. All that is done inside the app. So to change the input on the Echo device from being an input or an output, you just need to go into the app and then once you get into the app, you want to choose devices. Then you want to choose your Echo device, the one that you want to switch. So I'm going to choose the Studio Echo R, which is my right speaker. Then you want to scroll down till you see AUX Audio. Once you get down to AUX Audio, you want to choose that and then you want to choose it from being output to input if you want to pipe sound in. And of course, you know, you choose the opposite if you want the sound to go out to another speaker. Once you've done that, now your echo device will take sound coming in from any external device. Okay, so on the back of your echo device, the third generation, even the second generation, as a matter of fact, every generation of speakers, they all possess a headphone jack aka the 3.5 millimeter jack so as long as the cable that you choose and i'm going to show you a variety of cables that you can choose from to get the sound to the speaker so as long as one end of the cable is the 3.5 millimeter or headphone jack then the other end can be anything okay so you have a phone like mine that has a headphone jack and you want to connect it to that speaker what you would need on both ends is the headphone jack 3.5 millimeter if you want to be technical. Okay, so now let's say you have an equipment that has an RCA out and you're trying to hook it up to those speakers. So the same rule applies. You got to make sure you got a 3.5 millimeter cable on one end, but on the other end, you're going to need RCA male, which is the white and red hooked up to your equipment. And that's how you're going to get the sound from your equipment to the echo speaker. Now those two cables that I just talked about, they're designed for stereo input. That means you can only connect to one speaker using those cables. So that means both left and right from the source come directly into that speaker. Now there are cables that you can connect this to that split the cable into two so you can have two speakers. But that's not going to give you full sound separation. Means if there's sound on the left, it's going to sound on both speakers. But say you want to have total control of what's coming out on the left speaker versus the right speaker. Then you're going to need two of these set of cables. Now this cable has one black line. That means it's mono. So that means it's going to take the sound coming out of your equipment that's hooked up to, for instance, your white and it's going to feed it to your left speaker. And then you'll get another set of cable with the same kind of design and feed it to your right speaker. So after doing that connection, you're gonna have better separation on your sound. So any sound that's supposed to go to the left speaker is gonna go to the left speaker. And at the same time, any sound that's supposed to go to the right speaker is just gonna to feed to the right speaker only. Now you said, Char, hey, the splitter can do the exact same thing. Now technically, yes, it's still separating the sound going from left and right, but it's doing that into one speaker. This connection will make it go to just one speaker at a time. So that's the reason why I give it that option. Now you can choose any one of these options that's preferable to you. Now the left and the right channel, this last method that I'm talking about works best with equipment that has the RCA output. So that's gonna be like your mixer or your receiver or anything else that has the RCA output. All right, so to wrap up the cable selection, if you come in from your headphones from your phone or something like that, then just go with the 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter. And if you have the RCA out option, then you can go with this cable that feeds to one speaker. Although you can use a splitter to feed multiple speakers, but I wouldn't recommend that option. I would recommend that you get a cable like this that has one RCA out and one mono input. Okay, so check out this slide that I have popped up on the screen right now. When you have two lines on that jack, that means it's a stereo input. When you have one line, that means it's a mono input. Now here's a quick fact. If you see a cable that has the three lines on it, that's usually because it has a little microphone that's built into the cable and that's what that third line is for. Okay, so before I give you a demo of what it sounds like when you hook up the cables, to the speakers, which is something I really don't like doing because the sound that I'm listening to 
is not the same sound that you're going to hear coming through the microphone in this video. But I'm going to do it anyway just to show you that it works. But before I do that demo, I'm going to talk about some use cases that you can use this setup for. Okay, so number one option. If you have a TV that doesn't have, for instance, the HDMI out or it doesn't have Bluetooth capabilities, but it does have an auxiliary jack that you can output the sound, then that's one case scenario. And if that TV has the RCA audio output, then you can have the option of using two speakers or the one speaker based on the cable that you get and have two speakers on each side of the TV. Another use case scenario is using it as a computer speaker, especially on your laptop. You know, the laptop doesn't produce that much sound. So if you're using your laptop, for instance, at work or at home, and you want a little better sound, that'd be a great way of boosting the sound that's coming out of your laptop. And I'm pretty sure that there's other ways that you can probably think of now of how you can use these speakers as an external speaker. Okay, let's go with the demo. Okay, so there you have it. As you can see, you can hook up any cable that has the 3.5 millimeter jack on one end that goes to your echo device and take any other end that has the sound coming from that source and feed it into the speakers. So I just wanted to show you there's different options of ways to use these speakers for computer speakers, speaker monitors, hook them up to your stereo system or any other equipment that has sound output that you can feed into these speakers. All you need is the right cable. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it below. Thanks for watching, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.